And now a former OPP officer sentenced to six years in prison for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman in 2017. Jason Redmond fired from the OPP yesterday, a day before he was formally sentenced today. Here's CTV's Natalie Van Roy. And now former OPP officer Jason Redmond sentenced to six years in prison for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman. The 43-year-old appeared in a Brockville courtroom wearing a mask and dark suit. He didn't say anything before he was brought into custody. He's gone. Good riddance. Uh, he shouldn't have been a police officer. What he did was horrendous, unspeakable, and uh, no uh, police department wants an officer like that amongst their, uh, their good, honest, hardworking people. Court heard both were drinking the night of the assault and Redmond was using cocaine. The judge said Redmond recorded the assault and then showed the victim the next day calling her derogatory names. The court heard Redmond held on to the recording and later told friends what he had done, offering to show them the video. The judge said Redmond appeared to think it was funny and showed no remorse. The OPP confirmed Redmond was immediately terminated from the service effective June 15th, a day before the sentencing. He was a constable with the Leeds County Detachment. The OPP says the 43-year-old was dismissed after abandoning the Ontario Civilian Police Commission appeal process following a Police Services Act ruling terminating his employment. In a statement, the OPP's commissioner says in part, the corrupt, disgraceful and criminal behavior of this individual is inconsistent with the exemplary conduct of OPP members and our values of serving Ontarians with pride, professionalism and honour. It's long overdue. I mean, the OPP commissioner, was his hands were tied in terms of his ability to fire this officer until he was actually sentenced to jail or gave up on his appeal uh, through the process, and apparently both happened. During sentencing, the judge referred to the victim's impact statement, which stated the victim's sense of safety and joy was taken away by the assault. Redmond's lawyer declined comment to CTV News. Redmond was also found guilty of nine other charges, including assault, assault causing bodily harm, and assault with a weapon. It was a separate court matter earlier this month, and he still is awaiting sentencing in that matter. Natalie Van Roy, CTV News, Brockville.